Hey guys, so today I am doing my 32 to 30 week pregnancy update. I am actually exactly 33 weeks today. So I'm going to kind of inform you what has happened in the past like two weeks, which is, I feel like has kind of been a lot. I mean, I think that my last update was 28 weeks. So it's been quite a lot. Um, it's been like a month and a half. So, um, let's start with symptoms. Um, my symptoms have been kind of getting worse. Oh my God. My leg cramps have been like out of control. The other night I got like the worst leg cramp in the world and I like woke up like Ethan and he like woke up and instantly started massaging my calf because it was like straight on point. My foot was pointed and I could not move it. Like I was like, Oh my God, it hurt so bad. And then he was trying to bend my foot and I could not bend it. It was horrible. It hurt so bad. I was like, oh my God. And then I woke up the next morning and my legs were like sore. My calves, just my calves from like them cramping up so bad. So that's been happening. <clears throat> I feel like I hit 28 weeks and that's been happening. And they've progressively gotten worse. Like, holy balls, they hurt so bad. So, um, yeah, my leg cramps are really bad. Um, I have, I've been sleeping good. Um, I just have to get up a lot to go to the bathroom, um, uh, because I drink a lot. I mean, I drink a lot of water. So not only that, but like my bladder is not very good anyways. So I, I don't sleep very good, but when I'm like sleeping, like I sleep good, but it's hard for me to get comfortable. And I am like, I cannot wait to not be pregnant because I am like such a back sleeper. It's crazy. I like love sleeping on my back. So sometimes I do wake up on my back, but, um, which kind of, I'm like, Oh my God, I'm on my back. This is weird. But I am, I, I, I don't like sleeping on my sides normally. So I'm excited for that heartburn. You guys can probably guess that my heartburn's still been bad. It's actually progressively gotten worse where, um, I wake up throwing up now. I've done that. This is my third time. I just did. I was just napping today and I woke up and I was like, it's like you think you have a burp and then you wake up and it's like coming up. And at the one night, I swear to God, it was like four o'clock in the morning and I woke up and flew out of bed, flew into the bathroom and was like, oh my God, I'm going to throw up. Started throwing up, but it was like a little bit of throw up, but it was like pure acid. Like my throat was burning. Um, so I kind of said on Facebook, you know, like my heartburn's really bad. There's nothing that really helps. Um, you can get prescribed medicine, but my midwife was not comfortable with that. She, and I, if my midwife's like uncomfortable with it, then I'm kind of like, whatever, just skip it. I have like another month and a half left. I think I can suck it up. Um, I started taking pepsid ac at night which um has been helping i haven't woken up in heartburn since i've been taking that so that's been good um my zantac though i feel like it's kind of not helped anymore like i it works for a little bit and then it doesn't and tums that it doesn't do anything it just helps to it uh, i only take tums until like my Pepsid AC or my Zantac kicks in because it doesn't do anything for me. I think that's it for my, um, <clears throat> for my, for my symptoms. Um, I've officially gained 30 pounds, so that's kind of crazy. It's getting up there, but I'm, I'm not really worried about it. I only have a couple, I only have like six weeks left, so, um, I'm not really super worried about it. Um, I, cravings. The only thing that I want, um, as of lately is like blueberry bagels with plain cream cheese. I don't know why, but that's all I want. So that's like my only craving right now. I haven't craved anything else. <sighs> yeah. So it's crazy how fast it's going. This little kid moves a lot at night. He's a big night mover and he just kicks and I feel my stomach going Wah all the time and it's it's he only kicks um on my right side so he's head down the midwife says and his back 
comes on my left side and then his butt comes and curls around and his feet are on my right side which is where I feel most of my movements so yeah he's getting there um I'm gonna talk about my midwife appointment really quick I um I went there and um, I was already kind of measuring pretty on the smaller side. Um, they say if you're within two centimeters of whatever week you're in, you should be good. So like if you're 32 weeks, you should be either 30 weeks or 34 in between those two. And if you're higher or lower than that, that's when they start to get nervous. So um, I was at my 32 week appointment and I measured 30. So I wasn't under it but I was like just there and they kind of said well since your daughter was kind of small and I and I know I've talked about this before we're gonna give you an ultrasound anyways so I have that ultrasound set and that will be for July 3rd which is the day before my birthday my birthday is July 4th so um yeah I'm, I'm excited for that so I have an appointment for an ultrasound on the third and then an hour later I go to my midwife appointment so they're gonna kind of measure and see how baby is if he's growing right or if it's just um, my tummy muscles or my fluid or something like that they just kind of want to see if I'm like if I have a growth restriction in my uterus um, so whatever so I'm excited for that I just I, I pray that he's growing just perfectly fine and he's just smaller I guess I didn't really necessarily want like a smaller baby not that any anybody really does but um I I just hope he's at least seven pounds that's like my goal but there's nothing really I can do even if I wanted him seven pounds like I can't there's nothing I can eat more of that will make him eat more it's just basically all the nutrients he's getting from my uterus and my and the umbilical cord and all that stuff so yeah I'm kind of feeling I feel out of breath and I feel like pregnant even though I'm not looking like super pregnant um I feel like my belly is getting bigger like I look down at my feet and I'm like it's not like my I'm, I'm not getting swollen or anything but um I look down and I can barely see my feet anymore <laughs> like it's just getting that big so um once Rachel has her baby then I'm gonna be like man it's freaking go time for me like I'm ready but um yeah, I kind of hope, I mean, honestly, to be uh, real, like, I want the baby kind of be born in August, just because my birthday's July 4th, Ethan's birthday's July 13th, um, my niece Brielle's birthday is July 6th, and my other niece is July 5th, so we have a lot of birthdays in July, and it would be nice if this kid was kind of born in a different month than July, there's just a lot of birthdays in July, so, um, I kind of hope but then Ethan kind of wants his hit the baby to be born on his birthday. And I'm like, well, I don't really think it's going to be born on your birthday. But yeah. So, um, yes, I'm, I'm really excited. This week is like these last few months have been g flying by. Like Austin, Austin's out of school. Nevaeh's out of school. It's summer break. And I remember thinking, oh, when I'm pregnant and the kids are off of school. Like, because when I got pregnant... It was in right before Thanksgiving is when like I found out and thinking about having a baby in July seemed so far away like it just seemed crazy to think that oh well that when I freaking have a baby it'll be when the kids are out of school and all that and now I'm like oh my god like the kids are out of school and I just I'm 33 weeks pregnant it's crazy so um so yeah we're just getting like really excited and we're getting a lot of stuff that I'm like okay I feel like I'm ready for him to come like I'm having a diaper shower next Sunday the 22nd of June and so I'm really excited about that like I, I'm gonna get some diapers and some random different stuff so I'm really excited I'm just excited that we're like finally get to meet him pretty soon and tell you guys the name I'm really excited about that so um yeah I will definitely like if anything happens or whatever I'll definitely get, let you guys know as soon as I possibly can um if you don't follow me on Twitter or Instagram that's probably like the quickest way you guys would find out if I was like going into labor and having the baby is Twitter or Instagram is because I'm on the I'm on there all the time and it's just under the court report so if you want to follow me there you totally can and yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll probably update you guys at my 
after my 36 week appointment. So you guys kind of know what's going on and what happened, what they said and all that. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.